Hey, what's going on, people? It's your boy Toasty, and today we are back with a new Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video. And this week, we also get some new characters. So we get Ang, Yan, Chao, and Yuri. So basically, all these characters goes to six star, and that's for the Festival of Love that we're getting for the month of February. Uh, let's go real quick on the units since we don't have too much information about them. So we get Chao. Basically um, um, a magic tank, so he's gonna do the same thing as Mestia. Uh, high spirit, which is really good because basically you want him to block all that magic damage. And he has a lot of HP, so that's pretty good. Not bad. Consider if you have Mestia, uh, should you go for him? We'll talk about it after. Uh, right now is Trustmaster Lucky Ingot. So HP 888, MP 88. Uh, enables Lucky Ingot. Uh, Lucky Ingot, what it does is chance of countering magic damage with Fortune Smile. Fortune Smile, what it does, randomly cast the following for self. Uh, it's gonna boost his LB gauge, boost his defense and spirit for two turns, or restore HP. So it's one of the three. Uh, not bad. I like the HP and the MP. It could be good. I would have loved maybe some spirit in there just to make it uh, a little bit better for, let's say, if you want to put it on another tank or something. But still pretty good, still pretty good. Then you have his featured abilities. Um, Spiritual Defender, chance of taking magic damage for all allies. Same thing as Mystia. Randomly re restore HP to Caster and automatically revive Caster one time. That's pretty cool since you can cast that and cast this right here. So if he dies, he comes back to life. Pretty good. Then improved focus, boost magic and spirit and charm resistance for all allies. Pretty cool, pretty cool on this guy. Let's move on to Ang, which is going to be a physical damage dealer. They say that apparently he's going to be in the, the range of clouds and olive about like uh, single wielding a weapon. We'll see about that when it comes out. I still think that cloud is going to be way better than Ang. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, high HP, you guys can see 4,771. Uh, 4, uh, good attack, 186. He's gonna be a bow wielder. So you can see that bow is 145, two-handed weapon, bird killer, and dragon killer. Uh, strong weapon. Uh, he's gonna have something where he's gonna be able to boost his own attack when he's single wielding a weapon. Uh, swift shots, deal physical damage to chosen enemies. Then you have Master Hunter, boost physical damage against uh, beast, insects, dragons, and avian monsters. Then you have Chaser, boost attack when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. So basically it's almost the same thing as Cloud. So we're kind of seeing those new characters with, uh, they're gonna become stronger when uh, only wielding one weapon. Pretty interesting character since he's gonna be, uh, he's pretty much the only one that's a five, uh, six star unit actually that's a bow uh, user so it's gonna be interesting if i get my hands on him maybe uh maybe we'll uh, showcase him a little bit then we get yan uh high mp she's mostly healer slash uh buffer for the team a little bit uh high mp high hp which is really good that's that's what you like to see and she pretty she has high spirit too so she's gonna be able to take that uh, a little bit extra punch in the face with some magic attack uh her trust master lunar parasol defense 24 spirit 58 immune to silent confuse petrify enables uh, mp 30 percent auto regen when equipped by yan so if you equip it to her own self she's gonna get auto regen uh, really good TM. I like that shield. Uh, good defense, decent defense, and good spirit. Uh, the 30% MP is actually pretty good. It makes her uh, a little bit more robust, if you can say that. Then you get power of Chi. Use Chi skills twice in one turn. So it's almost like a dual cast, depending on her abilities that are going to come out. Then she has revive uh, flaming ashes. Revive and fully restore all allies. Uh, basically the same thing that Riku can do with Mega Phoenix and uh, the same thing that Ayaka could do. So she, if everybody dies and she's still alive, guess what? Everybody comes back to life. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and she has Invoke Fire, Reduce Defense and Fire Resistance for one enemy. Uh, we don't know the percentage on uh, the debuff and the Imperil, 
but when the unit stats comes out I'm probably gonna do um, a little uh, explanation of the characters then we got uh, the girl Yuri who gets her six star which it's it's okay nobody I don't think nobody really really cares to use her but you know what she's in there we got to talk about her uh, she's gonna be a physical damage High Spirits, that's her Trust Master, boost attack and magic by 20%, then she has Mugen, fake damage and chance of poisoning one enemy, which is basically useless, because nobody can get poisoned in this game almost, especially when you're talking about the boss and all the trials. She has a Secret Pesticide, critical damage to one enemy and boost physical and magic damage inflicted against bug monsters, and Bewilder, chance of escaping death when HP is above a certain point. Well, that's it for the new characters. Uh, this guy right here, Chow, I, I think he's pretty cute. He's a big puppy or a big dog. Uh, it's going to be fun to see a big dog getting hit in the face with a lot of magic damage. Uh, other than that, should you guys pull on this banner? Absolutely not. I think it's just a waste of lapis or tickets. There's nothing crazy game breaking in this game if you guys have mistia you don't really need this guy uh damaged damage dealers i mean are you gonna see him a lot i don't think so um chainers and magic damage you still have Firion, which is really 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 strong just for a three star unit don't pull on this batter don't waste your lapis don't waste your tickets on that if you go if you guys don't have cg sakura keep trying to pull for her because she is an amazing unit and on that note we're gonna move on to the festival of love which is gonna be whoa things are going really fast here uh it's gonna start this friday you can get awesome rewards so units chao ang yang and yuri make great team against roth whoa that big bird uh so basically it's an exploration map uh, on the week one, we're gonna get when you do beginners, you're gonna get fairies writ five times. On the advanced level, you're gonna get one rare summon ticket that you should use on CG Sakura, by the way. And on the elite, you're gonna get 300 lapis, which is pretty cool because we need some lapis. Keep that lapis, trust me. We're gonna get something good in the future. And don't waste your lapis on useless units. Uh, Rock, if that's the way you say his name. Watch out for the dangerous rock, which only appears during week one. Prepare yourself for the fights against, uh, for the fight ahead, Kupo. Fire element attacks are particularly effective, Kupo. Or if you have bird killer, you can do a little bit extra damage on that. Then on week two, we're gonna get some cool rewards. Actually, uh, I was watching the video on YouTube that they did for the global every month. And they were talking about getting some uh, EX tickets and stuff like that during from the 16th for the week after. So during that week, guys, log in, get your stuff, because there is going to be some good stuff in there. Uh, week 2, see you come back daily during week 2 to receive different achievement rewards on each stage upon, upon completion. Uh, then you get Kanshu and Bayuka. Only appear during week 2, so I figure it's going to be... Oh, that's two dragons. So we're gonna have to fight those two dragons and uh we're gonna have to punch them in the face real hard so oh yeah they do that that's good kanshu is immune to magic attacks and bayuka is immune to physical physical attacks so that's gonna be pretty cool you're gonna have to bring some damage deal uh, physical damage dealers and uh, magic damage dealers or maybe some hybrid damage dealers to hit them both in the face um then we get the ex event exclusive rewards flex shield Defense 10, Spirit 2d2, Water Resistance plus 50, Fire Resistance minus 50. It feels like it's just a bunch of ropes tied up together. Uh, if it's free, then why not? You guys should take it. Phantom Guard, Chao Yang and uh, Chao Ang Yan and Yuri only adds chance of evading, evading magic attack. Uh, it's okay. I mean, that Fire Resistance minus 50% hurts, but if you're not fighting anything with fire damage, then... Why not? 32 spirit is pretty nice. Uh, you get the Jade Moon Pendant. Females only. Defense 8, spirit 8. Uh, enables Exorcist Jade. Boost resistance against all status alignment to all allies. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess it's going to be for 3 turns, maybe 100%. Where you can get status immune. 
which should be pretty good. Mistia as a cast uh, as a spell like that, where you could just cast it over the team, which is going to be a hundred percent resistance to all status alignments for three turns. So hopefully it's something similar that you can maybe put on your healer, uh, which your healer now can heal and maybe also make sure that you know nobody gets status alignments during the fight. Then you get Jade Sun Pendant, males only, attack twenty, HP three hundred and eighty. Notify confusion, paralysis, uh, paralysis, and poison. I like that. That attack 20 and that HP 380. It's pretty decent. Uh, especially for you guys if you're starting the game. And you still don't have like strong 5 star units or stuff like that. That could be pretty useful on uh, some of your units right off the bat. Then you get fear of passion. Attack 98. Which is a nice bow. Uh, enables ignition. Bird killer and passionate art so ignition adds fire element to physical attack for self and passionate art only for ang cupid artemios and cupid luna only uh, it's gonna boost the hp mp and attack we don't know by i'm uh by how much but it's gonna boost it up uh pretty cool thing you know what uh it's good to have especially this the bosses i like fighting bosses uh, finding new strategies and everything it, it gives the the game a little bit more um, pep if we can say uh we're gonna move on to the next one basically here nobody cares chamber of crystals i know it sucks but whatever we're gonna move on to this one yay expeditions <laughs> they're gonna cost you half the guild uh could have they could have done something better i guess maybe just double the amount of you know raid coin uh raid coins instead not raid coins um what's it called I forgot the name of the things, the little, uh, the little things we get from the uh, from the expeditions. Half gill, not bad. I would have liked to see something maybe a little bit cooler. Um, just double everything on your expeditions, where, or you are sure to always get 100% for that week. That would have been cool, but whatever. It's free, so we'll take it. Ability awakening updates. That's pretty cool. Uh, Rugals, Ling. Cupid Artemios, Cupid Luna, Roselia, and we have the big people right here. Olive, she's gonna get a massive attack buff. Lunera, I can't wait to try her things because I w it was funny because I pulled three in a row of her and I don't know how that happened, but you know what? I'm gonna use one of her. I'm gonna boost her up because I want to see that Elven song uh, if it's better than uh, Ramza. And we get Yoon, that was here last year. So right here, we're gonna see it. Lunara, Elf Superior, boost defense and spirit when equipped with an instrument, boost magic and spirit when equipped with a bow. Uh, that's her Oriole Ray, if I'm not missing, that's her chaining move. So she's gonna be, uh, we're gonna boost the damage by a great amount and boost the uh, hit count by a great amount. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Elven Song, boost attack, defense and magic and spirit. Uh, basically, she's singing, so it's the same thing as Ramza, she's gonna be singing for three turns. She's going to boost your stats up for the whole team. And you're going to be able to get some uh, HP and MP regen during those three turns. Then she gets Brown Love. Uh, boost HP and boost damage to demons. And boost lightning resistance. Which is okay. Big, big cannon girl right here. Olive. Mortar beacon. Boost damage amount. Great. And boost damage amount. Great again. She's going to be doing a lot of damage. And if you guys have that uh, that TM from Elfrida, which is the gloves that gives her 40 attack and uh, increased damage when single wielding a weapon, she's going to do tons and tons of damage. Um, her heavy arms proficiency boost attack increase high. Then she gets even more increased attack when equipped with a gun. So if you give her Sparky, she's going to do all kinds of damage. Shattering Shot, uh, Awaken... Boost damage amount mid, then boost defense, decrease, boost lightning resistance, uh, reduction mid. Then once you awaken a second time, boost damage amount mid, boost defense, decrease low, boost lightning resistance, reduction. Uh, it's hard to, to, to say how much we're getting since we don't have the data on all these awakening uh, abilities yet. But once they come out, I'm going to do a video probably about Olive and Lunero. Because let's be honest, you and my friend, uh, I don't think nobody's going to be using you. Uh, then she gets True Shot, uh, which is going to be a high damage uh, move. 
boost damage amount great when you awaken a second time so we don't know how much it's gonna cost how much red crystals are the, this is gonna take but that's gonna take a lot of crisps right here just to make her a little bit stronger and a big finisher but for me personally this girl right here is gonna be the one i'm gonna be awakening i love support units to see how much uh, how well they fit in a team that you try to build and as you guys saw before yuri she's the five star going to six star yeah that's that's all we have to say that's all we have to say about that character so what do you guys think about this festival of love are you guys gonna try to pull on it i said i won't i'm not a big fan of those units they're just there because it's you know love month and they want people to try to pull for those uh characters that they're probably not gonna come back for the next year i'm not gonna try they're still pretty cool though i like their art actually i forgot to say something when uh, ang and yen are in the same party so if you play both of them together in the same party i think they get a not a stats buff but i think they get a little bit more mp recovery as uh they're on the same party so that's pretty cool that they did that i wish uh they could do that with some other characters like let's say you make a full party of final fantasy 12 units that they would all get a little buff like i don't know 10 percent on attack or whatever uh but that's pretty cool what they did there um let me guy you guys let me know in the comment section are you gonna are you guys gonna pull for that uh are you anxious to fight those dragons because i am and uh, if you guys like that video please uh like subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys next time stay classy people